Hey guys, this is Jesse V. I have got a V time story for you today. It is about the time I dated an actor. Now I'm sure all of you are wondering which actor this was. He was an actor on Degrassi. I know this show is really popular in Canada. It's actually filmed in Toronto, which is where I live. The guy I dated wasn't a main character, but he was the friend of a main character. I'm not gonna tell you his name because I don't want to like invade his privacy, although I am talking about him right now, but anyway. So don't ask in the comments who he is. I'm not gonna tell you. You can guess all you want. That's fine, but let's just keep his name private. <laughs> now, for those of you who are like, I don't believe her. I don't believe she dated an actor. Like, why is it out of the realm of possibility? Actors don't only need to date actors. They can date normal people like us, too. Although we're not normal. We're, we're awesome, right? Believe me, don't believe me. I'm gonna tell you a V-time story now. You're probably wondering how we met. This was back in 2011. I was doing a lot of modeling for this agency in Toronto. It's a pretty big agency. It's really well known. And a lot of big actors who filmed in Toronto actually went to the same agency as me. So I was seeing famous people all the time. There was this one day where we had to all get headshots. So we all met um, in this really large room to get our pictures taken. And I had never seen Degrassi, but I had heard of it. I had heard it's a really good show, that it's popular, but I had never actually seen it. I mean, I had driven by the set before when they were filming in Toronto, but I just didn't know who the characters were or anything. So I did not recognize this guy when he came to the photo shoot. Um, just so you know, I'm gonna represent this guy from Degrassi with this hat because he always wore hats. I mean, not like this, but you know, yeah. So I remember um, we had to partner up to do these like warm up exercises. It was really weird. And he ended up coming up to me and he was like, hello. Hey, what's up? Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? Uh, nope. Were you in a commercial or something? I am from Degrassi, the most known show in Canada. Okay, that's cool. I mean, it didn't really phase me or anything. I was like, okay, hey, another person. So what? He acts. Big deal. <laughs> I mean, in the end, we're all human beings, you know? Like, even if you're act an actor or an actress, in the end, you're still human like all the rest of us. So what, you get paid more and you act. Big deal. He was kind of taken back that I didn't know who he was, and I found it really funny because he was really offended that I didn't recognize him, and he was like, oh. Oh. Anyway, the rest of that day that we were getting our headshots done, it was really fun. We got to know each other really well. He wasn't as stuck up as he was to start. We actually started talking and laughing, and it was great. He ended up asking me for my number. Yeah, that is basically how we met. Now, when I say I was dating this guy, I didn't mean we were boyfriend and girlfriend. I was just going out on dates, going to his house. He would come to my house. It was just like a very open thing. We weren't like official. We were just dating. It wasn't until I had been seeing him for about a month that like his really weird characteristics started coming out like really weird stuff there was this one night where I got a call from him at like 3 in the morning and it went like this no lie hello Jesse Jess, Jess, you're not gonna believe what just happened are you okay it's like 3 in the morning right now there is an ant in my bed an ant is this a joke don't you believe me there's, there's an ant in my bed all right um kill it uh, I'm gonna go to bed now bye like, I am really bad with bugs, okay? I made a video a couple months ago about me having a spider in my room, and I hated that. But I don't think I would ever go so far as to call someone at 3 in the morning about it. And plus, he's the man! I mean, I expected more from him, you know? Not saying that you men can't be afraid of bugs, that's cool. That's cool. Anyways, that was the first kind of weird sign I got from him. The first time I invited him to my house was the second time there were some really weird things going on with him. I really love watching horror movies. As much as I like scream and cover my eyes and everything else, I just love the thrill. I love watching horror movies. So he came over and he was like, Today is your day, Jess. Today is your day. What do you want to watch? What do you want to do? Oh cool, I have this horror movie I really want to see. Do you want to watch it? Oh, uh, a horror movie you say? A, a horror movie? Are you scared? Are you scared of horror movies? I am not scared. Put it on. Put it on. And let me tell you, the whole entire movie, he was like, My God, what is happening? I'm gonna die. She's gonna die. He was like screaming and hiding behind me the whole time. And that's not even the end of it. After this movie was done, I told him that we should go in the hot tub because I have this really cool hot tub in my backyard. So we went out there, got into the hot tub, and while we were in there, my dad was, um, I think it was like mowing the lawn or something. So he was out there with us. This bee comes and lands on the side of the hot tub and he loses his shit. He loses his shit. He like grabs me, throws me in front 
front of him so I can be like where the bee is. So he's like using me as a shield. Like he was like, oh my god, a bee! There's a freaking bee! Yeah, it was, uh, I remember looking over at my dad who had been mowing the lawn and he just died laughing and I was really embarrassed. I was like, who have I brought home to my parents? So I, I didn't invite him over again, but we were still kind of dating. I don't know why. Why Jess? Why? I remember there was one night where I was sitting on my mom's bed with her and uh, this guy had texted me and he was like, can I call you? I have something to sing to you. And I was like, oh my goodness, this guy is gonna sing to me. So my mom was like, Jess, Jess, put it on speaker. So as mean as it was, I put the phone on speaker so my mom could hear him singing as well. It was so mean of me. But I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if he would sing well or if he was a bad singer. Let me just say he was horrible. He... I mean it was such a cute gesture because the song was about me and how he liked me but he was not a good singer. He... He was not. I mean, he was like, Jesse, love you. You are my angel. It was not good. And like, my mom and I were like covering our mouths, just dying of laughter. Like, at the end, he was like, How was it? Was that good? Was that good? Um, yeah, I mean, that's, it was really sweet of you. It was really sweet. Do you know who that song was about? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. It was about you. Yeah, I figured the way you said my name a couple times in it. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention, the other weird thing, whenever we got into an argument, he had this one phrase that he used against me. So when he was little, his finger was run over by a car, like just his finger. Like I think he was sitting on a curb or something. So like whenever we got into a fight, he would be like, how dare you speak to me that way? My finger was run over. This, my finger was run over over and you're gonna speak to me this way and I was like well I mean it was run over like seven years ago but okay like just so you guys know I'm only telling you like the bad parts like the weird parts about him he was a good guy he was just over dramatic kind of feminine a little strange but he was a nice guy you know I watched a few episodes that he was on Degrassi just to see how he acted and like he was able to like become a completely different person on TV it's amazing how people can just do that anyways we didn't stay together for too long we're not together anymore I have a boyfriend that I've been with for like four years it's all good I just I don't know I just thought I would share that with you guys anyway there's a few exciting things coming up I bought a new background that should be here in a few weeks. So say goodbye to this background. Cause you're gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss it. And I also got some really good lighting for uh, my little video space here. Anyways, you guys are awesome. Until next time, bye.